speak to mental illness in teens for me for a bit. What I would like to say and like to normalize is that mental illness is a continuum, right? Okay. That starts from mild to severe. So everybody at some point in time experiences different symptoms that come to be officially labeled as a mental illness when it is in the severe category. I'm sure we can all say we have experienced sadness of we have all experienced a day when we felt depressed or we felt dumb. When right. we talk about somebody getting an official diagnosis of the child is depressed or the child is suicidal, it means at this point in time, your coping mechanisms, they're not working for you and you're persistently and consistently showing these signs of not functioning well. Now with kids, with the hormones, with the challenges, there are lots of things happening in the social environment. I want to make friends, I don't know how to make friends, my body is changing, I feel awkward, I feel uncomfortable. If it's not managed well, you can have these symptoms of depression and it's very common. The reason why we have to take it seriously is that some kids, because they don't share and they don't talk and they keep it on the inside, it can lead to suicide. It can lead to self-harm. We have a lot of cutting, right? We have a lot of not, not very healthy behaviors like substance abuse that happens that have to do with not managing your feelings well. So in my experience, I've had to do a number of crisis interventions with young people struggling so badly with their emotions, um, wanting to take their life, having to attempt suicide previously, needing to put things in place where they're rushed to the hospital. I like to encourage parents to pay attention to their moods. We know in the adolescent period you will have the up and down. Leave me alone, but we're more looking at the ones that are extreme. You're isolating yourself, your grades falling, um, you're being very secretive. Anything that is really on the extreme end that is consistent for over like a two week period, we know that we're dealing with something that maybe potentially um, could be diagnosed as a mental illness. So I encourage parents to pay attention because they are the, I call them the first line responders. They're right. the ones who would observe and know what's happening. So I can't stress that more. We need to take it very seriously because remember they don't know how to cope with what's happening.